Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. Today we are going to be playing with magnets. The science behind what's going on in the experiments we do today has been covered in previous videos that we've done. The links to those lost treasures are in the more info area below. They'll also be at the end of this video. The magnets that we're using today are extremely powerful rare earth magnets or neodymium magnets and should never be handled by children or most adults for that matter or serious crush injuries can occur. Good luck trying to find a doctor who's had experience removing these. Even if you don't have a valuable body part entrapped between the magnets, they can snap together with such force that they can create blinding shrapnel. All right, enough with the warnings. It's time to have some fun. This is a magnetic liquid called ferrofluid that has been covered on the internet probably a billion times in other videos. Oh. Ferrofluid can be quite messy, so you probably want to wear gloves. Ah, I actually intended for that to happen, maybe not as dramatic, but I wanted to show that when you cover a magnet with ferrofluid, it creates a magnetic barrier with the ferrofluid allowing it to hover above a very coarse surface like this cement block. The magnet slides around and leaves behind an oily slug trail. Pretty impressive. Cleaning up a mess like this is almost impossible so the only option is to use concentrated sunlight and a very powerful Fresnel lens. At least that's the only cool option. As the sunlight is focused on the ferrofluid, it begins to burn away and actually catches on fire. What you're left with are magnetic particles that clump together. In our next experiment, I'm going to be using one of our large copper tubes. If you take a very powerful magnet and drop it down the center, it slowly descends. It almost seems to defy gravity. This is a lens effect in action. This also works with aluminum. In a previous video, I showed you how powerful rare earth magnets interact with a large aluminum ingot. If you have been watching science videos on YouTube for a very long time, you probably have seen a hard drive platter, which is not magnetic, placed below an acrylic sheet to prevent the magnet from touching it. As the magnet swings by, the platter is magically slid from side to side this is the lens effect in action. In 2009, I did a video similar to this with opposing magnets, showing you how you can levitate very heavy objects. We even made some really cool spin art, one of which is a clock on our wall, and the other one I will be using today as a stand. By jamming this rod in the ground and using the other piece of art as a stand, it is able to support my weight with a little help from one of the tripods that we made that have many different uses. This helps me balance, but all of my weight is on there and the magnets do not touch together. I'm able to spin around and pretty much levitate, I guess you could say. That's pretty impressive considering I weigh 165 pounds, actually closer to 180 pounds, but this works really well. These are some really cool science experiments that you can do with magnets. Just remember to be careful and don't let kids play with the magnets. On our other channel called Fresnel Lens Versus, I will be uploading video of concentrated sunlight blasting that test tube filled with ferrofluid. Created a pretty interesting mirrored interior. Also be doing video of the ferrofluid with extended exposures to concentrated sunlight. The link to that channel is at the end. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.